every Christmas season, like every holiday season, I have gained a tremendous amount of weight. Hello, my friends, and welcome to From Fluffy to Foxy, a weight loss transformation and information channel. Welcome to the end of week one. This week has been a really busy week. In case you didn't know, this week is December like 20, uh, 17th through 23rd, so just before Christmas. So this week has been really, really busy. And there's a reason why I started this weight loss journey before Christmas. My motivation has been to not necessarily lose weight. Every Christmas season, like every holiday season, I have gained a tremendous amount of weight. It's been somewhere between 10 to 15 pounds on the regular. I end up losing it in January, or at least losing most of it. Um, but it's been um, a struggle to not gain weight during the holiday season. So the reason that I started this journey uh, close to the holiday season was to ensure I didn't gain a lot of weight during the holiday season. So my goal for this particular time period has either been to gain very little weight or at least maintain my weight now. It necessarily isn't to lose weight or to start an actual weight loss journey. I plan to start really getting into the weight loss side of things starting in January like everyone else, but it really is to stop the free fall of gaining weight early before the new year rolls around. So my primary goal in starting this a little early has been to uh, just stop that uh, holiday um, weight gain from starting in the first place. So this week's been very busy with the last minute Christmas shopping. I normally try to do my Christmas shopping throughout the year and putting stuff away, but it's always the Christmas stocking stuffers and the teacher presents and all those other little things that you don't really think about. And you're like, oh no, last minute stuff that you just forget to do throughout the year. Um, that is taking up a lot of time and, um, because it's been a really busy week, I find that, um, or have found that being mindful of why I started this and my goals for uh, this holiday period has really helped to keep me on track and uh, help me, um, you know, make my decisions a little easier. So when I'm at, you know, the Christmas party and somebody offers me a slice of cake, instead of taking, you know, a big slice of cake, I take a small one. Or if somebody offers me Christmas cookies, instead of taking the whole plate of cookies, I only take one Christmas cookie. So it's being mindful of why I started this and not going hog wild on all of the uh, treats that are out right now and still being able to enjoy the season. That's really being able to uh, get me in the right frame of mind of why I started this in the first place. So I think the first thing that I learned this week was just to keep myself mindful of why I started and therefore being able to stay on track for this holiday season. The second thing I noticed is that it's very, very hard to maintain my water intake. I've got to drink probably around 96 ounces of water per day and with this week being as busy as it was, I was lucky to get half of that. It's been very, very hard to maintain my water intake this week, I'll be honest. And it's going to be something that I'm going to have to be more mindful of going forward. Um, I was mindful of my journey, just maybe not my, my water intake. So I'm going to have to be able to be tracking that a little better. Um, I was tracking what I was drinking, and that's why I know it was about half of what I should be drinking. But I definitely need to start getting closer to my actual goal and uh, getting back up towards that, uh, that marker um, that I've been told by my doctor to drink, in case you weren't aware of why I have to drink so much. And you're like, 96 ounces, that seems insane. Um, I have POTS, uh, Posterior Orthostatic Tachycardic Syndrome. I've only had it a little over a month um, and I have to increase my water and sodium intake because of that. So I do have to drink quite a bit of water and I just need to start tracking that a little better. The third thing I need to do um, that I've uh, recognized this week is that um, because this week has been so busy, I, you know, get off work, I do the shopping and then I come home and there's the, you know, um, 
dinners and all that sort of stuff, the homework, uh, the kids are done uh, school as of uh, the Friday, this Friday, they were done. Uh, so it was still business as usual up until the end of the week. So um, it's been very, 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 very busy. And I just need to learn to relax and enjoy the season. Um, it's, you know, the time for family and togetherness and all of that. And um, now that the kids are off school, um, I've got a bunch of things planned to spend time with them and to uh, get uh, some extra uh, individual time with each of them in. And it's going to be, you know, a great time for the holidays. But I need to remember that uh, it's time for, you know, relaxation and just enjoying uh, family and friends. And uh, that kind of got a little lost this week with uh, the franticness of the last uh, few days of uh, the shopping and getting things ready for the end of the school year for the kids and all the other things right before the holidays officially started um, <clears throat> for everyone. So unfortunately, I need to relax and take it a little slower over the next uh, couple of weeks and Maybe we'll uh, set a new goal for the new year. <laughs> now we're going to go into what actually happened this week. Was I up? Was I down? Did I stay the same? We're actually going to go into the video that I took and the actual um, scale information. In case you weren't aware, I am using a Renfu uh, scale and a Renfu measuring tape. Uh, this is because I have ADHD and I like everything in the same spot. I like to be nice and organized. That doesn't stop you from doing uh, pen and paper or a different type of app or measuring it off like a um, Fitbit or an Apple Watch or something like that. What's your best way of measuring uh, your measurements and weight? Uh, comment below. I want to know. <laughs> the reason I use it is just to keep it nice and organized all in the one place. So you'll see screenshots for those uh information in, in the app uh, throughout the journey. I will only be doing my measurements once a month. So I did it already for the uh, original data video. If you want to go back and check that out, I'll leave a, a link in the this video for that. And you can go and take a look at the original data. And this week is just going to have the scale data. So just the information from the actual scale itself. So let's get into seeing that now. All right, well, today is the first weigh-in at the end of my first week. Now, this is the Christmas holiday season, and tomorrow is Christmas. So my goal is to have not gained any weight or have lost some weight, but really it's to make sure that I haven't gained any weight. So let's see where we're standing at right now. <laughs> and exactly what I weighed last week, <laughs> right down to the 0.8. That is too funny. So it looks like I am still at the same weight I was last week. So at least I haven't gained anything during the holiday season, which is good enough for me for now. And there you have it. So there's the end of week one. Were you surprised? Did you think I'd be up? Did you think I'd be down? <laughs> I was hoping to be uh, down. I will I will admit to that, but I'm glad that I didn't gain any weight. Like I said before, previous to in previous years, um, I would gain 10 to 15 pounds during the holiday season. So the fact that I am the exact same weight to the decimal point as I was last week is actually um, pretty happy for me uh, because I didn't uh, gain any weight at all, period. End, end of sentence here. So the fact that uh, I didn't gain any weight at all is uh, a good starting point for uh, this journey to continue. I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not going to overthink it. Um, this was the whole point of starting before the holiday season was to not gain the holiday uh, weight and to, like probably everyone else who wants to start a quote unquote weight loss journey, to start in the new year, you know, officially. <laughs> so right now I just don't want to be up when January 1st comes along. So we're going to try to maintain either my same weight or your get down uh, and continue to lose weight. And then the official uh, weight loss segment will begin in January. 
So subscribe below and join us on a healthy journey of your own, either weight loss or maybe just want to change a few habits so that they're a little healthier going into the new year. So until next time, stay amazing.